Hey guys, welcome to the ranch. Today we're in the shop and I'm gonna be doing something a little different. I'm gonna be patterning my shotgun. So stick around, I'll show you how I do it. All right guys, I'm gonna show you here what I've got. I'm gonna be um, going on a dove hunt this weekend uh, down in South Texas, and um, I'm gonna be taking my 12 gauge over and under. It's a Beretta Silver Pigeon. I've had this gun for probably five years now, and um, I'm uh, embarrassed to say that I've never really patterned this gun. Um, and what that means is I've never shot it on paper to see how the, the shot reacts or uh, comes out of the gun and, and, and uh, what kind of pattern it leaves at the target. So this is a, um, a crucial um, thing that you really need to do to get familiar with your, with your gun and your chokes in your gun and your, and your shells that you choose to shoot um, before going out and trying to, trying to bag some wild game. Uh, like I said, I'm embarrassed to say I haven't done it on this gun. I've done it on my other guns in the past and different shotguns, uh, but I'm excited to see how this, uh, this Beretta shoots uh, these, these dove loads. So stick around, I'm gonna show you what I've got laid out here on the workbench and uh, then we'll go out in the backyard here and, and shoot some targets. Now it is raining, so I might have to wait until uh, the next day or so to, to get this done. But uh, hey, I welcome the rain. We need it bad. So either way, you're not gonna have to wait because it'll all be seamless on this video. So here we go. All right, here's what we got. First, I'll start with the gun. So this is a Beretta 12 gauge um, silver pigeon over and under shotgun. Like I said, I've had this gun for several years now. I've used it to uh, hunt pheasant, uh, turkey, uh, dove, quail, and I think the end duck. I believe I did take it duck hunting one time. So it is a uh, a nice gun and uh, shoots real well. And most modern guns nowadays have what's called chokes or uh, interchangeable choke tubes. So this gun came with uh, five chokes and I've added two of these external screw-in chokes or three of them. I don't really use these anymore but um, the chokes basically uh, affect your shot pattern. So when a shotgun uh, shoots its its uh, shells through the through the barrel depending on depending on how tight or how open this choke is will affect your pattern uh, downrange so that's what we're going to be shooting or practicing today uh, to just get an idea of how much lead is going to be hitting the target at certain distances okay this is the targets and the tools that I'm going to be using. So we're going to use the chokes and, uh, and all the chokes are going to be uh, switched out and I'm going to be using uh, one shot per choke per target to see uh, how, the, how the shot hits the target at 40 yards. So the shots I'm going to be using here are um, the shells I'm going to be using here are the seven and a half uh, federal two and three quarter inch uh, shells. This is what I'm gonna be hunting dove with. Um, I got a range finder here. This is a Vortex, I love Vortex. Uh, this is just gonna help me set the target down range. I'm gonna set it at 40 yards. Um, now, kind of the standard for patterning shotguns has always been 40 yards um, and you want like a 30 by 30 inch target at minimum and this target here is really not that big it's not 30 inches across it's only about 23 inches across so that's kind of a little bit small than, than uh, smaller than what I'd like to have but I have a bunch of these so that's what I'm gonna be using so like I said traditionally we've always patterned shotguns at 40 yards now I don't know the reason for that, but uh, I say that you should pattern your shotgun at whatever distance you're gonna be shooting your game. So 40 yards is a pretty long shot for a uh, flying um, dove. So I might move that into 30 yards. Uh, I don't know yet for sure. Every uh, target will have its own um, set of parameters. So it'll be the shell, the load, the 
the distance and then the uh, you know shot the what what choke tube I have and then the shot pattern so that's what we're going to be doing today before we ever even go outside I'm going to be I'm going to be prepping my targets so I'm going to go ahead and get these targets uh, marked and I'm going to be using the same shells the same box of shells so I don't have to write down this I'll write down this at the end but it's a federal seven and a half shot two and three quarter inch 12 gauge shells I'm gonna try four different chokes I'm gonna try first what I usually dove hunt with is a skeet and a improved cylinder so those are already in the gun and my first shot out of the top barrel will be the skeet and that is the widest choke it opens up the largest and, sh and throws the largest pattern the improved cylinder is just a little bit smaller and it will throw a, a, a smaller pattern uh, a little bit more distance and then the next choke is going to be this number two here no, i'm sorry this number three it is a modified and this number two choke is improved modified. Now this is kind of a unique choke. The, some manufacturers don't make improved modifieds, but the Breda came with it, so I'm gonna use it. Now another thing, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but all these chokes have notches in them. And this one has three notches, okay? And the, the more notches that you can see, I'm not talking about the wrench flats. I'm not talking about these four wrench flats. All the chokes have wrench flats to take the chokes in and out with this tool. This is the tool that you use to insert and remove chokes in this gun. So. I'm not talking about the wrench flats. In addition to those, there's these little notches right here, and that is so you can identify the the choke that you have in the gun while it's when it's screwed into the barrel. It's also printed on the side here, very faintly. You can see this is the modified. It's got an M on it, but you can also memorize this. Three notches is modified. Uh, the skeet is five notches the improved cylinder is four notches modified is three notches and this improved modified is two notches and then the last choke I have in there is a full choke and it is the tightest choke keeps the smallest pattern and it has one notch the first target is going to be with the the skeet skeet choke at 40 yards with seven and a half shot, two and three quarter inch federal. Okay. The second target is gonna be with the improved cylinder, 40 yards, seven and a half shot, two and three quarter federal. Then I'm gonna have to switch the chokes and we're gonna go with the modified at 40 yards. It's gonna be the same shell, seven and a half shot, two and three quarter inch, federal. And then the last test is gonna be the improved modified at 40 yards, seven and a half shot, two and three quarter inch federal. After this, I may bring it down to 30 yards, depending on the results I get, but let's go out to the backyard and take some shots. I'm gonna do a 30 yard shot. I decided to do 30 yards because um, I think 40 is just a little too far for Dove now that I'm looking at it. Even though I'll definitely take 40 yard shots, I wanna know what my gun does at 30 yards. Disregard the uh, rotted watermelon there that's from the uh, leftover from the garden okay we're at 30 yards all right here we go improved cylinder 30 yards
taking out the skeet and putting in the modified in the top barrel. Taking out the improved cylinder in the bottom barrel and putting in the improved modified. Modified at 30 yards. The last shot improved modified at 30 yards. All right guys, let's see what we got. Excuse the noise, it's raining and I uh, just got it done and, and I'm under a tin roof here, so. What did we find out? So I changed it to 30 yards uh, because 40 just looked, after I set it up, it just looks too far. So um, I wanted to see what my gun did at 30. And this is the result. So I aimed at the center of the circle with my bead on the uh, shotgun barrel. So as, as you can see, the majority of the shot is towards the top, not towards the bottom. So when you're shooting a shotgun, the bead on the barrel is sort of like the bottom third of the shot pattern normally from what I've found. That's probably not always true, but just in my experience, the bead is sort of like the bottom of the, of the shot pattern, okay? So I don't know how well you can see this, but the skeet choke left a lot of gaps. I mean, I can see missing a dove at 30 yards with this choke because all this dead pattern here, 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 I mean, there's some big gaps, okay? Moving over here, improved cylinder, 30 yards, same aim point. We got a lot more shot towards the bottom. There are some gaps up here in the top right. Seems to be a gap on both of those. But this one covers the target much better. So I like the improved cylinder better than the skeet at 30 yards with this shot. Okay. Moving over here to modified. 30 yards. As you can see, a lot more a lot more holes in the target with number seven and a half. And a lot more around the center. S similar to the skeet, there's not a lot down at the bottom. When the improved cylinder, there was a lot at the bottom. It could have been my aim point a little bit off, but for the most part, improved cylinder in the modified choke looks like what I'm probably gonna be using at 30 yards and beyond. Now the improved modified, that's a lot of shot in the small pattern there. And I don't think that's gonna help me, um, especially if I shoot a bird close up, it's gonna destroy the bird with this shot right here. So it would definitely do the job, probably out to 50 yards or so, uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna rule out the improved modified and I'm gonna go with the improved cylinder in my top barrel, modified in my under barrel, and that's what I'm gonna use for this dove hunt. So the thought process is the birds are flying either side to side or away from you, and the first shot is gonna be your closer shot and you're gonna use your top barrel for the close in shots. And the farther they are away, your second shot will be the bottom barrel. So, and I, I can always switch it on the, on the stock of the gun. You can switch and shoot this, the bottom barrel first if you want to. If you're gonna to try to take a longer shot and you know it, you can switch it up. But in theory, two shots, first one being improved cylinder, second one being modified and farther away. There it is, guys. There's the results.
All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video in uh, patterning a shotgun. Hopefully you learned something, and hopefully it helps me in the field this weekend and bag more, more dove. I'm going to try to uh, put together a uh, cooking video for my uh, dove recipe that I bring home after, after this weekend. So wish me luck. Subscribe, like, do all that stuff, and uh, check back later. I might be able to post some action of the dove hunt, and definitely we'll post a cooking video of uh, what we do with the doves after we get them home. Thanks for watching.